I always think about my kids when uh, they're playing in the yard. You know, the front yard, you got the street outside, kids are playing with a the ball, there's always a chance that, you know, a ball goes flying into the road and they could run after it, chase them after it. No matter how much you tell them to look both ways, you know, if you get excited about something, people tend to forget that and they'll run into the road not even looking. And if we can do something to help protect the people who aren't thinking or the kids who are excited or whatever, it's one more thing that we can go home and think good about at night. I think as an engineer, it's always great if you can do something that helps protect others, you know, whether it's save their lives or make it so they wind up in the hospital instead of the morgue. There's always, you know, when you can do something to make somebody else safer, that always makes you feel good. Makes me feel good. Pedestrian impact is a new global requirement that can really conflict with some of the basic objectives of a bumper system. For a pedestrian impact, what you want to do is have very low load levels so that you don't injure a pedestrian. However, the objective of a bumper system is to protect the vehicle from low speed collision damage. So those are conflicting requirements. In our pedestrian products, we've developed a a way to actually increase the energy absorption capacity and the efficiency of the absorber so that we can minimize those conflicts.